Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. In this video, I'll be doing a Ryan Leonard scouting report. He's a hardworking power forward who plays a complete game for the U.S. National Training and Development Program. So stick around and let's see what makes Ryan Leonard a top prospect for the 2023 NHL Draft. As always, please subscribe and hit the like button to help the channel grow. And if you go to the homepage and hit the community button, we do all kinds of fun stuff like our community mock draft, which will be starting on May 8th. Yes, the NHL lottery, and this is a blast. So check that out on May 8th. All right, Ryan Leonard, he is a six foot, 190 pound beast on the ice. He shoots right and plays the right wing, although he did play almost every position this season with the National Development Program. So he's very versatile in that respect. And here are his draft rankings. NHL Central Scouting has him at number five for North American skaters. TSM Bob McKenzie at 10, Elite Prospects and Sportsnet at 7. So some pretty decent rankings. All right, his stats. And this season, he had 76 points in 49 games. Look at that, 42 goals. Yes, he's a shooter, and you'll see that in a minute. And if we compare his points per game to other notable players, he lands right at 1.55, just below Cole Caulfield, right above Logan Cooley, Trevor Zegras, Matt Boldy. So some pretty good company to say the least. And as always, we'll check out his skating, shooting, passing, puck control, compete level, and what he needs to improve upon. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is his skating, and he is a pretty strong skater, you'll see. He's got great balance, and it's hard to knock him off the puck. So watch this one here. You're going to see his burst of speed there, breaks down the wing, and he attacks the net and scores. That's one thing that you'll notice with him is that because of his fast skating, and his willingness to go to the net, like he hits the middle of the uh, ice. He'll go in those high traffic areas anytime. Arrows on him here. You're going to see he's going to bust up. So good acceleration here. And then watch this. Just cuts to the middle. Oh, just knocked that player right off his feet. Did the helicopter. Love it. So you can see he's got a pretty decent stride there. Long stride. And look at that. He's just strong on his feet. That's the one thing that you'll notice with him. This one here is look at, see that? Good balance too, eh? He's strong, and he's got great balance and good acceleration. Overall, really good skater. He likes to put pressure on defenders by leaning into them, basically. He'll go right, he'll attack, he'll attack. He's an attacker. And this one here, you'll see the acceleration. Watch this. He just takes off. Boom, look at that. See that explosiveness? Love it. So really good combo in terms of that skating. Like, look at that. That is great. So strong skating for sure. All right, shooting. Yes, he can whip a puck. Watch this one here. And boom! Ha <laughs> ha, it's in the net. Love it. Look at that accuracy, eh? Pick that corner, no problem. All right, arrows on him here. We're going to do a little one-timer action, maybe. Nope, walks in and tink. See that release? It's pretty deceptive there. He's got, a, he's got an interesting kind of release. He just, right off the hip, just picks the corner there. So you can see that he's got a really good shot and good accuracy. And again, Attacks the net, eh? Not afraid to go into those dirty areas. He just attacks the middle of the ice and the net. Close up here. Look at that. Boom. Far side. No problem. So that's a positive. Passing. Yes. Really good passer. Um, I wouldn't say a flashy passer. So see, he gets the job done there. One thing that I noticed is that he's really good at his outlet passes. And his own entries. Like, look at that. That's a nice little chip pass there. And then they break in and they end up scoring a goal here because of that. All right. So same thing here. You're going to see he's going to hit this one long bomb. Look at that. Break away. And then they end up scoring because of that. But you're going to see from this angle here, you can see, look at that. All the way down the ice. And Will Smith makes a little move there. And they end up scoring a goal. So another aspect of his game. Really good passer. This one here, I want to show you how he looks off. So he's looking like he's going to shoot and he just dishes off for the one-timer. That's a nice little play there. That's a smart heads up play and it's not selfish. So you got to love that about him here. This is the one, the outlet play. So see, he's going to get the, goes into the corner there. He picks up the puck right here and then a nice little smart outlet pass there. That's one thing that he's really good at is zone exits. He's pretty proficient at uh, getting the puck out. All right. Puck control. I wouldn't say he has like the smooth hands, like some of these players, but the one thing that he does do well is, is uses his body like this one here is a pretty nice actually play. Look, <laughs> oh, what a goal! I was actually at this game, the Five Nations, 
tournament. Yeah, you know what? I saw this and I was like, oh my God, Ryan Leonard. So I've been watching him for a long, for a long time now since well, beginning of the season, but live a few times. And he's just impressed me. He's one of my favorite prospects in this pool. And just love his overall game. So same thing here you're going to see. You know, just goes to the net. He's not afraid to attack. It. Look at that. He eh? just heads right to the net. He knows. Comes in here. Picks off the puck. You're going to see right at the top here. Picks it off. And then he's heading right to the net. There's no stopping him. And then a nice little move at the end there for the goalie. What a goal. All right. Arrows on him here. Same thing. Five nations. And you're going to see. Look at this. Oh, wow. See how he just kind of delayed a little bit there? Look like he's going to go to backhand and they just quick turn to the forehand and it's in. And then this one here, you're going to see he's going to do a little toe drag. Whoop. And then gets a scoring chance. Didn't score on that one, but just wanted to show that sometimes he does have a little bit of finesse in his game. But for the most part, he's all about puck protection and using his body to, to shield the puck. All right, compete. Yes, this is a big part of his game. Look at this. Look at this. He just goes here. Watch this. He's going to knock this guy down. He's like, try to hit me. I don't think so. Reverse hit. <laughs> and another one absorbs a hit and then passes it off. And they end up scoring from that. So you're going to see a little bit of nice stick handling there through the legs. A little fanciness. I love it. And then right there lays the body. And then this guy tries to hit him. He's like, no, too easy. And then dishes it off. He's the uh, hard worker on this Smith parole line. And he gets stuff done. And look, look at the speed on that. Look at the speed. And see, attacks the net. I'm cutting in, and you're not stopping me. Love it. He's a hound on the puck and always in pursuit. And you'll see that his defensive play is really impressive too. So this one here, you're going to see he's going to chase the puck down. He's going to come and back check. Watch this. Little lifts, stick lift right there. Yes. Takes the puck, and then look at outlet. And they're out. Right on. Here, same thing. Hard work. Picks off that puck, goes in, hits this guy here, and then sends Moore on a breakaway, which they eventually score. So his compete level is on point. That defensive play, like I said, he's a 200-foot player. Really good, versatile two-way player. I like everything about his game. What he needs to improve upon, there's not too many things, to be honest with you. I just like his game. And this one here, you're going to see he's going to try to do a little stick handling. And this is the, the next two clips are from North Dakota against North Dakota. So he misses, and then he trips the guy because... He didn't get the uh, puck. And then this one here, same thing. He's going to try to do a little little toe drag, but loses the puck. The other thing is sometimes he's a puck watcher. Um, again, but that's, you know, young guys, they kind of give up on the play. So this one here, he lets this guy go. And, of course, that guy gets a puck and scores. So a little puck watching sometimes. Um, this one here, same thing. He's just going to take the bait, and then they score. But overall, I'm a big fan of Ryan Leonard. He is strong strength physicality compete two-way play his skating his shot all of these things make for a great hockey player and he he whatever team drafts him they're going to be happy with ryan Leonard. let's put it that way and things he needs to work on like you said his stick handling is not the greatest but he uses his body to kind of protect himself to shield the the puck so he he, he gets away with that and there are, there are flashes of, of pretty good stick handling his puck watching you know that's a minor detail that can be fixed my concern is his ceiling. You know, he's not going to be a 100-point player, I don't think. But he definitely has all the intangibles that you want in a hockey player. I have him top 10. I've had him top 10 for a while now. And I still think that he's going to go top 10 in this draft. I just look at the other players in that area. And he just brings a lot to the table. One of my favorite players in this draft, for sure. Ryan Leonard from the U.S. National Training and Development Program. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.